Well, thank goodness in the, the time I've been coaching, you haven't seen too many games like that where we lead the whole game and uh, we can't make enough stops or uh, finishes at the end uh, offensively to, to win the game. So uh, obviously Virginia Tech's got a really good team. They really shoot the ball well. The guard play, as I said, was outstanding. The guard play was really good today. And uh, we just didn't do enough. Uh, it, we're, we're back again, 52% from the field, right? Uh, just doing some strange things on defense. And uh, it, it, caught, it really cost us. So uh, well, offensively, I think we got some really good, we got some good baskets. But we, we did not get to the foul line enough, and I think the big thing was fouling them. We had an awful lot of, I mean, the one-on-one -on -one both halves with 10 minutes to go, in both halves. We, that's not us. But, uh, and it's not an official thing. It's a, it's a Michigan thing. And we're, we're, we continue to, a couple of our guys griping with the officials. Well, they've been calling that all year long, and they're going to continue to call it, so you can't do it. So we'll get better from it. It's a great learning curve game for us, and we'll grow from it. And Virginia Tech, as I said, they're, they're a really good team. Look at their scores from last year. And they played some really good ACC teams really well. And uh, they could be a tournament team as well. And uh, it would be, uh, again, we didn't deserve to win the game the way we played in those last 10 minutes. John, do you want to start us off? Can you talk about the effect of having DJ out of there late? Yeah, this is, this is but it's a trend. It's like the Mo thing from last year. I mean, I think there's been a couple of games now. right? So he's got 18 fouls in these... Uh, in these seven games, and uh, he was leading the team in fouls going in. And I, I, I want our guys to play aggressively, but you know the, the foul shot foul, whether it's a good call or not, it's just hey, here, here's two points to the other team, right? And by the way, you have three fouls on. Uh, so it's just he's going to learn. He's going to learn. It's good stuff for him to learn from. No. But it does impact our defense. Um, John, the, I guess the second to last possession that you guys had, you couldn't call timeout to yeah. set it up. You didn't have any, um, what, what were you looking to see there, the one that ended with Zach's shot? The second, the, the third to last. You yeah, the, the one with the one shot. With, we with, got, the one with Zach. Yeah, I didn't get to call a timeout there. But, uh, we were trying to isolate him, and they took him away a little bit. And we know what to do when, we take, when they take him away, and we didn't do it. It's that simple. So now we got isolated, and we got all gumped up there. We couldn't call a timeout, and uh, we, we got a bad shot. And we wanted to get some other action on that play. Uh, they took a little bit away, but not enough that we have a great counter for that, and we didn't do it. Andrew? Coach, is there, is there a fine line there with Zach wanting to, you know, make a play and saying that? Well, know, once we got into shot clock time right there, you know, they switched every ball screen. So every, every ball screen the whole day, they switched it. So on the switch, and it would allow us to get to the rim a lot. So they were going to switch any ball screen, so we tried to stay away from that at that point. Even slipping it, they did a good job of reading that, and so uh, it, it was. It just was. It just it was bad. I thought it was. It, if we had time, I wish we had time out to, to really put something together, uh, but we didn't have time to put something together. So we ran a play that we, we do run, uh, but they blew it up. And like I said, we didn't counter well. Chris, is Deer when he gets to the rim? Does he have to look to finish a little bit more at times? Do you think is he too quick to? to well, there's times he's got to finish at the rim, yeah. And, and he's, like I said, this thing we've been really working at is, is his two-point field goal percentage has got to grow. He's got to grow. He's really an elite shooter. Uh, he's seen the floor well, but uh, he's got to get to that rim. Like said, the seven foul shots, you know, they, we got we were getting layups. We got to the basket a lot today. Uh, so they weren't as physical as some teams we play in the Big Ten. But we still got to get there more. I, I just... Mo shot was what, what was it point blank seven seven feet away, and I don't think he, we wanted him to go to the rim there. He was a seven footer and he missed it. But uh, we got to get you know Duncan got to the rim. If Duncan can get to the rim, we can get to the rim. But we got to continue to work at that. Brendan, you said some strange things on defense. What is most uh, disconcerting to you right now? Uh, just sometimes we we're just like the last like the last three. All of a sudden they just did a dribble handoff and some guy assumed there was a switch coming and. And there he is shooting it in. We just stopped on the play, right? Uh, we had another time in the post. We were we were like, I don't know where we were going. They just threw it in the post and scored, and we weren't even know where our post was. So this is stuff we got we got to get better at. We got to get better at. But there's still, the, 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 sometimes we just lose that that edge, right? When you got to get a, a stop, we lose that edge to get a stop. We've got to be a better defensive team than that. Kevin. Coach, you had some success going to Mo, just open the second half there. When they started going small ball, did you think about going back to that? 
Yeah, but, you know, scoring points wasn't as big as trying to stop them right now. Mark's a better defender. <coughs> and so, and, and Mo, uh, in defensive mode, Mo's been sick all day, didn't feel good. I just didn't, you know, he was, he was doing good. He was doing all right taking the ball to the basket. And we drew him up at the end. That's where the walk call is, which I didn't see it at all. A uh, huge call in the game. Uh, when he walked driving down the lane. We were trying to drive drive their big right to the basket like we did a couple of times. And uh, it, unfortunately, that was a walk call and a huge turnover in the game. Right in the front. You're up by 10 with eight minutes to go. What did Virginia Tech do better or differently down the stretch? Uh, they, made, they made, first of all, they made, I think, every three. Maybe they missed one three after that. And uh, we had a couple of misses there. Um, it, you know, we couldn't finish at our end, and, and you know, they got a transition layup. They hit two big threes, and there's the eight points right there. But like you said, they're, they're a KG team. They, they got those same guards, those exact same guards that have been making the plays they did for them last year. The issue is we got the same guards. We got to get better. Our guards, our, our whole team has got to play better in those situations, and we did not. Their guy, look at the minutes. Their guards play a lot of minutes too, right? And we just got to improve got time for a couple more men. Uh, Duncan Robinson was the only one to come off the bench and score points. Does it worry you that only six players scored tonight? No, not really. I, it worries me that we don't, we're not getting more minutes out of that, right? But, uh, you know, they're in the one-on-one -on -one right away. Xavier's got two fouls right away. So this is, this is a process that we all go through uh, to get better. So I did like what John gave us off the bench. It was limited minutes, and they, went, they were going small. And that's a tough guard for John right now when they go small. Uh, but at the same time, it was a, uh, 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 I was talking about John. They just, I'm trying to get minutes off the bench. Like second half, second half, and I think a lot of coaches do that too. You got that extra long timeout. You get, everybody's going to use their timeouts. And there's not as need for the rest as I want to do in the first half. We'll close with Mark. With Zach, obviously, the last seven and a half minutes, I mean, he had he'd been so good until yeah. then, and he just vanished. I mean, well, was it just missed shots? or? Yeah, you know, he flattened out on his shot when he, met, when he missed it there. And then, like you said, we had, a, he, we had a couple critical turnovers there too, as well, uh, where he threw one away. But, uh, no, it's, uh, he, uh, we couldn't get him open. We couldn't get him as open as we got him before. Like I said, I, we had a lot of ball screen action. And, uh, when they switched it, when you're playing small like they are, and they switch it, we should be able to do some things. That, again, and we did it all game long, and all of a sudden, we did not do some of the things we wanted to do against a ball screen switch. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.